I see you remember me, Mrs. Kepler. Uh, Miss Patricia was kind enough to tell me your real name. Come in. Thank you. I really called to see your husband, Mr. Cartwright. Am I correct in assuming he's out? You are. Then I'll wait. I don't suppose you know where he went. That is also correct. You see, he's a songwriter. He sits at the piano for hours, and he goes walking for hours. What do you want him for? I... Who's this? Dr. Ordway. Well, take her blood pressure and get out of here, will you? I got work to do. After midnight, you want us to have to move again? Well, they can't throw us out until morning. Mr. Cartwright, you weren't by any chance at the Golden Knights Cafe this evening, were you? Me? Certainly not. Dr. Rodway, now I get it. You're the guy that ran my wife out of a job. You know, that could have been very inconvenient for me. Does your wife always work in disguise? Certainly. Who'd give her a job as a cook the way she looks now? Well, that's a nice act, Cartwright, but I happen to know why she went to work for Burns. Well, so what? Since when is it illegal to collect a debt? Never, so long as you stop short of using murder for a collection agency. You see where your big mouth gets you? It's perfectly true. I went to work for Burns hoping to find out what happened to my father. Well, why did you wait until six months ago? That was my idea. She never would have thought of it. No, you see, I Please had don't interrupt, will you? After we were married, she told me about her old man, and I got to wondering why a guy with an embezzlement warrant against him was never heard of. We came to investigate, not to murder. Why did you burn the cuffs of your trousers? <laughs> oh, that? I burned them tonight. I'm careless with matches. Ain't that right, Angel? I'm practically cremated. <laughs> He's burned up three beds already. I'm going to put him between asbestos sheets. <laughs> you see? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get back to work. Will you sit down, Dr. Rodman? I know you're trying to find out who killed Walter Burns, and believe me, if I knew, I'd tell you. What do you think happened to your father? I think Burns did away with him, then accused him of theft, so it would look like he ran away. I was just getting my bearings in the household when someone killed Burns. You smell smoke? Yeah, it's him again. Mal, you're on fire. No, baby, just hot. Look at that wastebasket. An upside-down rocket, just like Fourth of July. Boy, it wouldn't happen again in a thousand tries. I conked a police car. 